it's Jelly Cube. Today I'm going to try a little experiment with some sculpting medium. So it's kind of like a, um, obviously it's going to add dimension to your artwork and some texture. So I'm, think, I'm just trying it on this little uh, 30 by 20 canvas to see what I get. So I'm going to add the background first, I believe, with the sculpting medium. So, and I'm going to use these different catalyst wedge and this kind of, I think this is a, um, a tile adhesive scraper thing, I think. So I'm going to try some products. I just wanted to go through this because I know a lot of people um, <laughs> still ask me. I finish off the back of my, or I start off the back of my canvases to keep the bottom clean with masking tape. So I simply go round and cut it. These little pegs, some people still say, oh, I didn't realize what those were for. They're little stretcher pegs. I'm not sure of the exact name. If somebody knows the name of them, they slot into those slots that you see at the back of your canvas. You push it very firm and you push the other one the other way and it stretches your canvas out so you get a really nice taut canvas so that's what they're for you can also give them a little knock but i just find that pushing them in with my thumbs is adequate so then your canvas is nice and taut ready for work so that's all the prep that takes the time usually so i'm gonna just squirt this pouring medium on this was very cheap 4.95 for this uh, how much is in it? Um, 25 mils, 8.5 fluid ounces. So um, that was just from my local um, discount store. So I'm going to just, I'm just going to try some of it. So I'm literally scraping it out with my uh, offset spatula. I'm told that if you want to even save more money when you're doing texture in your art, buy from the um, painting and decorating store the actual uh, like uh, wall, um, I'm not sure what it's called in a in different country. It's like for dry walls, it's what they uh, fix up plaster walls with or they call it in Australia Giprock. So you can just buy a tub of it quite cheaply. Um, and I know my brother who, who was a painter and decorator for many years in England before he retired, he used to add a little bit of washing up liquid to make it more pliable and that might work with this too to, to make the working time um, more in it. So I was thinking I can either try this little catalyst wedge which is a C24 to see, oh, what would I do? Let's try and do some different effects in it. Of course, I could put that uh, pouring, that sculpting medium into a cup and make up some, you know, just add my paints to it. So I'm just gonna, this remember, this is just a test for me. So I'm just trying, and it does leave the effects in your canvas. So I guess obviously the thicker that you have it, then you know, the sort of more gorgeous effect you're, you're, you know, you're going to make a deeper effect in it. So let's see if I can hold it there and go all the way around. Yes. So in my uh, local beachside suburb of Noosa, they have you kind of great big artworks just with the white like this and these sculpted effects in them. You could spray them or paint them and like I said you could mix a little bit of painting and um, sculpt from there. But even just that very plain sculpting work, that looks fine. I mean um, if that's that's what you desire. See, so it actually doesn't really need any colour, you know. Um, let's go, let's go that way. 
so there you are you've got like a sculpted background I'm gonna let that dry I think before actually let me try a thing I was gonna let it dry but why not let me do just one and see if a balloon kiss will actually dip into this and give it um, a nice textured effect so this will be a thing on it I'm just gonna just use this little bit of paint that I've got sitting here so that um, we'll see how we go might give it a really nice textured balloon kiss how about that that would be nice Add a little bit of white probably if you was pressing into kissing into textured stuff maybe you would need instead of a balloon maybe a ball because the ball would have more oomph to it oh, i'm just trying to open this it's not going to want to open so i can't do it that's annoying there's a little bit of purple maybe this one huh? that's navy so i will add a little bit of that lovely i made this color up and do you think I'm sure I've wrote it down somewhere, the colour I made. Right here, I'm going to try my balloon. I'm going to try my balloon that I've got some water in it because it's got a bit of weight to it. So let's just see if it makes a textured effect. Oh, look at that. Let's try and do one. It's added some of the texture to the balloon, so... <laughs> I think I have to leave that to see if it dries with that texture effect in it. I mean, you know, you might not. Actually, that has got texture. Let me see. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. So the balloon would give it that lovely leafy kind of. Ooh. So there you go. You've seen the swirls. Now for the balloon, I think I need to wipe it off every now and again, otherwise it just gets thicker and thicker on the um, canvas. So we will see. That's so pretty just in the white actually. So you could either leave this to dry with that lovely texture, or when it's dry, you could give it a spray over with silver or gold have to bring it down to see this texture <laughs> I think I did do this in a video a while back but um, so there's my balloon kisses with texture and they are you beaut really lovely balloon kiss with texture so there's a thing Colour. I want a bit of colour. All right, I'm going to bring you down and have a look at this because it's really quite lovely with the texture. I could imagine on a big, um, maybe a MDF marine ply doing the textured finish to have on a wall outside because then the marine ply and the texture would hold up to the elements especially if you give it a coat of external varnish. I'm going to bring you down. Oh, this really looks super with the texture. Oh my goodness. Will you, if anybody that follows my channel, you will know how much I love my balloon kisses and rolls. And now to think you can get this super duper texture with my balloon kisses. I'm not quite a fan of that there yet. Maybe it might dry better. Not quite a fan, but it has got the textured effect in it. I think I would prefer to let it dry and then maybe spray over it. You know, big wall art with this effect in silver. Wow. I'm gonna let it dry and we'll see how it goes. So I will be back, but I am so loving that texture on canvas. And that was with just a cheap sculpting medium I got from my Gelignite Jacks. It's just a, disc, a local discount store. Um, so you can mix it with any acrylic paint. 
to add dimension to your artwork. I know that uh, other products have been sent me in the past, just the same sculpting mixes, um, and they work, but this one seems a little bit more easier to work with in that it's not drying too quick, but I know that it does dry beautifully because I've used it the other week. Super duper happy with that. Lots of fun. Hope that you enjoyed something different. Wait on for the photos. Bye for now. Okay, next day, it's all dried. It's actually dried quite um, like soft and uh, not soft, it, it, it's definitely hard, but what I mean, like a, a plasticky feel to it, like it's got some kind of, um, I don't know, gloss in it. But yeah, I, I'm not real happy with the balloon kisses. I mean, they could have been better, maybe it's the colour. I, I actually love that one. So to do a great big piece of art, um, like I said, maybe even put gold or silver or any colour in your um, sculpting paste. But this is uh, feels really nice, actually. So all the kisses stayed exactly. And um, yeah, it feels kind of like vinyl. Um, it has a really nice feel to it, so would look you boot super duper in a big one. Yeah, I, I think um might even try just like doing a pour over that and then blowing the paint over it and letting it dry with the texture. I may try that. But anyway, that's um all for today. But that was, uh, I feel that was a great product for a really reasonable price and was lots of fun. And it's just given me loads of ideas for other uh, things that I can do with that particular uh, product. Okie doke, until tomorrow, my lovelies, please take care. Don't get too stressed over Christmas and gifts and all of that. You can give your time and your um, love to somebody worth so much more than expensive gifts. Um, share a meal with somebody. It's, um, yeah, don't suffer because of the financial pressure that's put on us all at this time. So just enjoy, enjoy family and friends. Okay, my lovelies, bye for now.